officially the end of prestigious. Introducing the participants. First, directly to my left, currently on loan from the Dallas Wrestling Office, weighing in at 227 pounds, world class Channing Thomas. His opponent in the corner to my right is a company to ringside by the Emmy Award winning John Alba. He represents the current Let's Wrestle champion, wrestling out of Boca Raton, Florida, weighing in at 225 pounds. He is the main attraction, Mac Daniels. And their opponent, Directly in front of me, wrestling out of West Greenwich, Rhode Island, weighing in at 190 pounds, the victorious BRG, Brett Ryan Gosling. Three men who hold a storied history, three men who have grown as competitors, as wrestlers, as men here at Limitless Wrestling with John Alba in tow. I can't, I, you know, I have to give John credit here. He has compiled three men who have turned out to be world class, Myron, and of course, Pitch. But Rich, hello. Hi, Sam. Did you just give John Alba credit? Sometimes I have to give John credit. I've got to say, he, he brought these three men together and made them into a well-oiled machine. And while that machine has uh, managed to implode, shall we say, it was a glorious machine while it lasted, defeating the Six Stars, defeating Alexander Lee and MSP. They've been the who's who of everyone. But Channing, he's had enough. He's looking to prove himself as a serious competitor here at Limitless. And he anyone, not even his friend BRG. Channing Thomas made a point of telling me before the ring, in ring intros to make sure that everybody knew that this is officially the end of prestigious. It's done, it's done. Only Matt Daniels has stayed loyal to John Alba for whatever reason, and he is the current Let's Wrestle champion, a little farther north here of Yarmouth, Maine. But these three have completely disintegrated. We've seen it right here in front of our own eyes here on IWTV. And one of these men will head on to the finals of the Vacation Land Cup tournament. And if Channing Thomas has anything to do with it, it is going to be him. Channing has been making his name at Limitless Wrestling and outside of Limitless. And today he seeks to prove why he is the outstanding member of Prestigious. But we're seeing a fire from Brett today, an aggression that we don't usually see from him. There's so much on the line for Brett, who in many ways could be considered the underdog of this match. He is the least experienced of the three athletes in this match, without a doubt. He, but he has really come into his own in the last six or nine months. I've seen such a change in Brett Ryan Goslin. He's become much more polished, much more confident in that ring. And he wants to go to that Vacation Land Cup tournament. He wants to go to the finals and take that trophy home. Sweet victory! Sweet victory, we'll see. Uh-oh, big clothesline. Channing Thomas, but big moves can take a lot out of both people. Took a moment to get that cover. And BRG, the, the smaller of the three competitors, Channing Thomas, 227 pounds, Matt Daniels at two and a quarter. Ryan Goslin, under 200 pounds at 190, really starting to fill out those, been really hitting the gym, really training hard. And I mean, he's done with prestigious. Did that hold him back? Not necessarily, because as you mentioned, the list of uh, victims too prestigious in the most recent month, year here in Limitless Wrestling. He you know, it wasn't even Brett that initially wanted to be prestigious. It was 
Understanding that initially made the move before Mac actually kicked him out of the group. So in many ways, Channing had been following, rather Brett had been following Channing's lead, but growing into himself as a competitor after last Limitless show. But Channing, big power slam to BRG. Mac, nowhere to be seen. Cover only gets the two and a half count. Rich, who's your uh, who's your pick to win tonight? The only thing that I wonder about is the X Factor outside the ring, that being the Emmy Award winning, now on the apron, Emmy Award winning John Elba. If he can pull some chicanery, as we saw he did for months for prestigious, you know, then Mac Daniels is gonna have the upper hand. But I say as far as momentum, oh, and that shoulder just cracked the ring post. Channing Thomas in a lot of trouble right now. And I was just gonna say, that was my pick though. Take John Alba out of the equation. I don't think Mac Daniels is gonna get it done. I'm going with Channing Thomas all the way because he is, he's, he's world class. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm gonna remain impartial here, but I would like to think it could be BRG's night, but in the same token, wow, thunderous forearm and another, a back elbow to Mac Daniels. Okay, he's going, he's going for another sweet victory, but not quite enough to execute that. Up to the second. Oh, but Mac Daniels catching BRG in a cross body, but watch out! Channing getting knocked into by BRG there. Mac Daniels, of course, we can't take away from him. He is the Let's Wrestle champion. Of course, this is a non-title match. John Alba insisted, I say so. Uh, they're not going to allow that title out of their hands so easily. But I, I could do without the posing. I the could Myring? do without the arrogance. He You're not Myring? No. no? Okay, okay. Let's not tell John that. But I'll give this kid all the credit in the world. Mac Daniels, one hell of a physique, one hell of an athlete. Absolutely. He's got a great look. He's got to get rid of Alba. He can do so much more on his own as far as I'm concerned. He's got everything going for him except the fact that he has a horrible attitude and doesn't really keep the best company. But look at how he just flew over the top rope and landed on his feet. But watch out for BRG! Suicide dive to the outside and the feet of BRG hitting that middle rope on the way down but still able to knock Mac Daniels down to the canvas and do further damage as Channing Thomas was behind Daniels. Now both men are down and here comes the victorious BRG. Will he be victorious here in this opening round match in the Vacation Land Cup tournament? Lots of big risks BRG's taking. He knows the stake. He wants to punch his ticket to the VLC. Could the English drop kick off the top be it? Not enough for three from our referee, Eric Greenleaf, Maine's favorite referee, by the way. <laughs> According to nobody, but him himself, I should say. <laughs> Channing Thomas still down on the floor. BRG with the upper hand. He should be following up right now. This is where I say the inexperience. The least experienced of the three athletes in the ring right now. BRG now stomping the foot. Now measuring Matt Daniels. And there's, there he is again. There's John Alba, that's what I'm talking about. That's that X Factor, Sam. That crafty Alba. Channing catches the boot. And could he be going for a Boston Crab? Yes, and it is locked in the deeper. This is cinched in, the more it hurts. Mac, not wanting BRG to submit to Channing here in this match. Triple threat match, every man for himself. First fall is going to take the match and advance them into the finals. Slammed right onto Channing Thomas was BRG and a count of two. So, jumping all over your head. And now, going for perhaps a desperation pin there. Uh, pinning Channing first, then going for BRG. John Alba giving a bit of a pep talk here on the outside. Max certainly going to need that because, uh, well, he's got John Alba on the outside with him. I was tempted to announce Mac Daniels as the, the last remaining part of prestigious, member if you will. I mean, he really is. He's the last person that John seems to have any faith in uh, within this nuclear unit. Oh. But at the end of the day, it was the threesome that made up prestigious. I, I don't know if one man can just be referred to as such unless he goes as prestigious Mac Daniels in the future. You know, I agree, this was a great team, but John, I think, always had in mind for the be-all, end-all to be the advancement of Mac Daniels as we're seeing him coming to the ring with that member, former member of prestigious, not the other two. Daniels now sets up Channing Thomas, center of the ring, backbreaker, 
takes him into the ropes. Oh, good Lord. Could that be enough to take out Channing Thomas in advance? Not enough. And now look at the frustration. You can see it in the eyes of Mac Daniels. Mac Daniels has a lot on the line here. He is a Let's Wrestle champion. He is also the only Limitless Dojo trainee who has ever really made it to the big stage of Limitless Wrestling. So if he wins this, he'll be the first Limitless trainee to have a chance at the Limitless Championship potentially. That's right, we win that Vacation Land Cup tournament. Losers. So many Number that have won it in the past have gone on to win the prestigious Limitless Wrestling World Championship held by the Prize City OG, the Prize Alec Price. Look and what it's done for Alec Price. Look what it did for Anthony Green. MJF, Christian Casanova, now Carmelo Hayes on WWE. Absolutely, and you know that the champion is downstairs in the locker room looking at the monitor right now. I saw him out here watching our second match of the night, watching Desmond Cole. Had words with Desmond Cole. The champion, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the fear of the unknown. Alec Price is a hunted man right now. One of these three men wants to be one of the four men that'll make it to the finals in that elimination match to crown the cup winner here tonight. Alec Price certainly watching this match, losing toe for Cole versus Mason, and you've got to believe that, oh! Okay. What an That's airplane spin by Channing Toe. I'm getting dizzy just looking at this. This is about 30, 30 revolutions, I'd Without say, a doubt, yeah? without a doubt. Both men are dizzy, though. I don't know how Mac is even standing after that. Same goes for Channing. And now, butterfly suplex. Very well done with the deep double underhook. Hooks the leg, is it enough? No. And good thing it wasn't because I don't think BRG would have been close enough to, uh, to prevent that three count from happening in that moment. And we know that BRG is very much so still in this match, regaining, regaining his consciousness there. But right now, Channing Thomas, Mac Daniels square in the center, maybe attempting. Perhaps a pile driver? Maybe power a power bomb. bomb. Max Reverse. staying on Shannon, who is the technician of this match. Super kick propelling Mac Daniels into a German from Channing Thomas. And now. Look at that. Look at that stare down right here. BRG and Channing Thomas almost working as a team to take out Mac Daniels, but it's every man for himself. It's Who's going to join Ace Romero? Who's going to join Charles Mason? Who's going to be the third member of four to make it to the four-way elimination match, tournament finals, and BRG's going up to the top. So again, we're seeing BRG and Channing Thomas working as a cohesive unit. Oh, come on! What? That piece of- He just had to get involved. He can't help himself. I don't think that that's where you want to be, Alba. Oh, dear God. Uh-oh! Somebody call John Alba's next of kin because he's going for a ride. And so is Mac Daniels, I'm afraid to say. Connects a with doomsday device. Essentially, John Alba being used as a walking, a walking missile. What a move! What foresight by BRG. The oh no, Kenny going for the cover. But oh, capitalizes but broken up. BRG, BRG going for the cover. And Daniels kicks out. I mean, John Alba was just flying through the air. I don't think he intended to uh, inadvertently clothesline his own man, Mac Daniels. I think he was just reaching for anything he could because he was airborne. I don't think I did either. This was a team up of convenience. Now Channing and BRG are back on the offensive with each other. They are not friends. They know what hangs in the balance. You talked about all the former champions, current champions, any champion here in Limitless Wrestling has gone through this grueling tournament. And the thing is, you gotta wrestle twice to win it. And Channing. These, go ahead. My oh, bad. BRG spinning out of that, of course, knowing his former partner's moves like the back of his hand there. Off the ropes, Channing Oof. with a big haymaker to BRG, who is teetering on the ropes. Yes. Oh. And BRG retaliates in like fashion, like I said. Ooh, We're close. seeing a grit and determination from BRG, but the technical prowess of Channing on full display here. Is he gonna be able to execute? No! He's biting him! Rich, he's biting him! That's gross. 
Oh! Super kick right to the jaw, and Channing Thomas is tied up in the ropes. Tied up in the ropes, looking at the old stopwatch here with 13. Oh, the oh, belt! God. The damn belt! You can't do that! And Channing For Thomas is tied up in the ropes! And BRG kicks out! Look we, at that look! We have seen prestigious. Oh, goes for another cover! A bit of desperation there. BRG having none of it. This is his night. He believes that there's nothing that is going to stop BRG from claiming his ticket to the VLC 2022. Double finger salute for Mac Daniels from BRG. Oh! Little sliced bread. Uh oh! No! Channing Thomas just dumped BRG to the outside. He's oh. going to the finals. What a way to get a victory. Here is your winner advancing to the final round, world class, Channing.